over and so are the rain chances. It's 58 degrees right now as we look at South Hill, Virginia. Take you down to Carter Finley in Raleigh. It's 59 degrees and a little further south in Sanford where you had a couple showers this evening. We tracked a few showers over the sand hills into the coastal plain 59 degrees. But as we look at the radar right now, everything's clear, at least in terms of rain. We do have some clouds out there, but uh, 57 also in Roanoke Rapids, still a little warmer to the southeast. That's because a front is coming through as we speak and it's situated almost getting ready to cross the I-95 corridor. So it's cooling down behind the front, but it was warm today. It was 79 in Fayetteville in the triangle. We managed 68, but here's the good news. What you can expect for the week ahead. Dry weather Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Gosh knows we need it. We're going to have it. Now temperatures will be the coolest on Tuesday, but we're not talking anything extreme all in the mornings. You'll want your coat. It's going to be in the 30s and then it'll be near 70 again by Thursday, setting us up for our next chance of showers on Friday as a cold front approaches. But if everything goes as planned, next weekend should be dry. Rays of sunshine. Four. Going to score with a four tomorrow. We'll have a mixture of clouds and sun throughout the day. 50 degrees at 6 a.m., 49 at 8. Don't forget the sun. If you slept in this morning, you got to get up going tomorrow. You know, you got that extra hour in the afternoon with daylight uh, saving time, but you lose it in the morning. So at the bus stop, it's going to be dark. The sun is not up till 732. So uh, be careful out there. Watch for the kids. 55 at 10 o'clock, 60 at noon, 60s, mid 60s tomorrow. Winds north, northwest at 6. That's the 2 p.m. reading, just to give you an example. And then back to 58 at 8 o'clock as we turn partly cloudy. So 79 today in Fayetteville, 70 tomorrow. So a little cooler, but still pretty nice. 68 in Pinehurst, 68 in Lillington, 68 and done. We'll see 68 in Wilson, 68 Smithfield, 70 in Clinton, 67 in Rocky Mount. Clouds and some sun in the triangle. How about sixes are wild here? Lewisburg, Durham, Raleigh, Cary, Siler City, all 66, 65 up toward the Virginia border. So there's that front crossing the I-95 corridor at the coast. When you wake up in the morning, a varying amounts of clouds with some sun mixing in. That's why we're going with more clouds and sun tomorrow, but it will be dry, no showers around. And then this high will carve out some clear skies for for Tuesday will be mostly sunny, but it'll pull in the coolest air of the week. Then the high is going to back off and we'll get a southeast flow. And what will happen is we will pick up these high thin clouds. So I'm going to go partly sunny on Wednesday. Sometimes that filtered sun coming through all ahead of this warm front that represents warm air aloft. And then this front will lift to the north before we get the showers on Friday. So that's why it's going to warm up into the 70s again. 48 tonight. 66 tomorrow, clouds and sun, 38 tomorrow night as we clear out late at night and we'll be mostly sunny on Tuesday, 58 degrees. Ooh, a little cold Wednesday morning, 33, but at least we rebound afternoon high clouds up to 60 degrees. Thursday near 70 with uh, more clouds trying to roll in here and then we've got the scattered showers on Friday. Too early to call if we're going to see or hear, I should say, any thunder. Right now I'm just going shower 72, clearing on Saturday. What's that thing on Sunday, Maggie? Hmm, it looks to be a shamrock. Uh, so uh, well, the green. green. Yeah, so for <laughs> St. Patrick's Day, 54 degrees and uh, mostly sunny skies. You're